Hello, my name is Randy Dobson. I'm an instructor here in the Houston, Texas area. In this video, we'll be covering templates uh, in AutoCAD. Um, uh, it's, it's something that I prefer that my students do toward the end of the course uh, because a lot of the things that I'm covering, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about dimension styles or layers or text or, or units or any of that, uh, then it's just going to go right over your head. So uh, again, I try to get my students to watch this at the end of their introduction course. Uh, but uh, the templates, uh, you, if you've ever worked for a company and, and you've went in and uh, you needed to type up something and it, they would give you a, a, a file that already had the, the letterhead, the, the company name on it and the address and all of that good stuff, that is a template. It's, it's something that's pre-made. And the more that you can become familiar with templates, you, you can become just crazy efficient. Uh, uh, if you really get into the templates and understand how they work there, it's very easy. It's really just an AutoCAD drawing without the graphics for the most part. You can put graphics in them, but uh, to really uh, to help you out, it's, it's better not. But um, I'm going to take this drawing right here. And you know, when we start a drawing, it says start a drawing and it opens it with the ACAD template. Uh, if I come over here to start, oh, let me close that one down. That's not me to do that. Let's go back here to start. If I go to templates, it asks for a template. When, when I hit that start drawing, it grabbed this one right here, this ACAD DWT. That's for drawing template. Okay. Uh, and what happens is it. this is just a basic uh, command. I mean, template, it doesn't have anything in it. But here's what we're going to do. I'm going to come up here to layers and I'm going to create a bunch of layers. I'm just going to keep hitting new. Okay, look at all these layers. I'm just creating them. So I've created all these layers. Uh, actually, I'm going to open that up and I'm going to go to line type. I'm going to go to load. And again, I'm, I'll, I'll, if you haven't watched the, the videos on layers and line types and stuff like that, I would prefer that you do. I'm going to select all of this. Here's all my line types now. You know, so when I open this up, here's all my line types. Uh, if I go to uh, uh, units, where I type in UN enter, I'm going to set this decimal to one, decimal to one, units to unitless. Uh, we'll, we'll make the, the angle also point one, or, or one decimal. Then I'm going to go to style, which is your text style, and I'm going to create a new one. We'll just call it Randy. Uh, hit OK, and we'll make Randy uh, something really weird, Bell MT. Okay, so I've done that. Uh, so that's just a few things that I've created to say do my drawing. Now at this point, if I wanted to, I could go to save, and right down here I could say, uh, Randy's template. Actually, I'm going to change this first. Come down here, and one thing to remember template, it does not have a version. So it does it, it can't take more complicated things, but these are not uh, set to versions. And as you can see, it put me in my template directory, and I'm just going to create something saying Randy's uh, test template. And I'm going to hit save. Hmm. Let's try this again. Don't know why that came up. We'll just call this Randy. And you can add some things here if you want. So I'm going to close down AutoCAD. And uh, if I go start drawing, it goes and gets the AutoCAD uh, DWT. And if I go to layers, you'll see there's one layer. Uh, if I open up the line types, you'll see there's no line types. Um, if I go to style, S-T-Y-L-E, you'll see there's just one standard. Okay, but now I'm going to go open up a drawing again, only this time I'm going to go to Randy's. It looks the same, but look at all the layers I created. Look at all the line types are loaded. 
so you don't have to keep doing that over and over again. Uh, I'll go to style and there's the Randy style I made. So it uh, uh, it's it's really it almost be like every morning when you got up to go to work you'd have to go put air in your tires. Okay, it's you know you would just at the end of the day the air would go out and you come home and and you keep doing it over and over again. Uh, 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 you know some of these newer cars now they've got it uh, uh, that you can pre you can set your settings so when you get in there you hit a button and the mirrors all change channel changes the searing seat everything changes to the way that you had it set that's basically a template okay and the more that you can uh, create different templates let's just say this one I've done here and uh, maybe now I'm gonna go to units and say you know what I want to make one for architectural okay I'm gonna hit okay and these layer properties I'm going to select them all and make them red I will go with yellow I hit wrong one now I'm gonna to go to save go to template and type in Randy Arc Yellow hit save hit OK so I'm gonna close these all down so if I go to start a drawing that grabs the ACAD template as you can see oops hope I think I messed something up uh, uh, I'm gonna go to templates and if I go to ACAD let me close that one down there's nothing in there okay now if I go to start a drawing templates and I go to uh, Randy then you're going to see the units should be decimal you will see that the layers are uh, all white okay now if I go to open another drawing and I go to templates and I go to Randy Arc Yellow now I've opened up a third drawing there my layers are all yellow there's all my line types and my units are architectural okay so that way when you do a drawing you can save it as a template and not have to keep reinventing the wheel you know as you get into layers and line types and dimension styles you don't want to have to be keep creating these things you do them once and the better organized you are uh, the, the more efficient you'll be I don't know if you've ever seen commercials I've actually seen it in person you know this is tax time income tax time uh, that I'm doing this and uh, you've got two types of people they go sit under their income tax return and they've got everything filed nice and neat uh, and then you've got the person that comes in with a box that has all the receipts and paperwork in it you know which one's going to get done quicker the one that's more organized uh, so this is something that I encourage my students to learn more about you can create all kind of templates to to help you get started uh, so you're you know you you get a jump on it I mean where everybody's you know starting at 18 hole golf cart uh, course at hole number one you're starting at hole number five okay uh, because you've already got the other four holes taken care of in, in your template so again it's, it's something that's very very uh, powerful very very easy but you need to understand all of these options that you can put in there and store them and just reopen it over and over again and that concludes my video on templates thank you